Hello physics students, this is Mr. Stockbridge. I'm going to give you just a very quick and dirty tour of this week's lab simulation because there are a couple of things that aren't quite intuitive. So without further ado, let's dive into the specific heat lab. I've got the lab file open here and we're just going to open up the simulation. And here you see it pop up. Now you can kind of skip through this stuff if you like. We're just going to go to the experiment and we're going to run the experiment. Now there's several things on here. Um, basically we're going to work from left to right. So the first thing you want to do is you actually want to have a solid selected for your first your first item here. So we're going to choose a solid. I'm going to choose just something random. We're going to choose tin. And now is where you need to set your your parameters. You need to decide what the mass of the metal is that you're going to add and how hot you want that metal to be. And you can do that by typing things into the... Oh, no, you can't type things in. I guess you just have to use the slider bars. So let's just... I'm going to pick something random because this is a demonstration. It doesn't particularly matter. Just make sure your metal's nice and hot. Now, before you move on to the next thing, or I should say in order to move on to the next thing, you need to click Next over here. You can't just hop over and start working in this next section on the right. So we're going to go next. Your second field here, you need to use a liquid and specifically you need to use water. I mean, technically you can use anything on their list, but water is by far the easiest. It's what the lab instructions use, so go with water. Um, you are not able to set the temperature. It's a default temperature of 20 degrees to start on the water, so you do choose how much mass of water you like, and you can see it filling up on the uh, on the simulated beaker here. Again, we're going to click Next to move on to the next part, and then we're operating in the Run Experiment section over here. You do need to check Show Graph View. You do not need to check Show Microscopic View, but you can if you like. And at this point, we're ready to start. You're going to start the simulation. You'll see things happening on the screen. Uh, the most important thing is to focus on the graph up here in the upper right. This is basically showing you that here's the tin, and as you would expect, you put a hot metal into a colder liquid, and the metal's going to cool over time, and the water does warm up a little bit over time. Eventually they converge. Remember that this is what equilibrium is all about. The experiment is over when the two objects, well, when the, the metal and the water reach the same temperature and are in thermal equilibrium. So there's no more exchange of heat because everything's the same. Until that simulation stops running, you'll actually not be able to do anything else in here. I've been talking long enough that it's ready for us. The key information that you need is the stuff that you put into these two areas down here for your solid and for your liquid and then you need to record this temperature right here. That is the key measurement which will allow you to do everything else. And remember how this number relates to this graph. This tells us that the final temperature of both the metal and the water is whatever is reading on this thermometer right here. So in our case that's 20.85 degrees Celsius. That's the quick run through on how to use the simulations. From there, you should be able to do everything that the lab file describes. Hope this is helpful and have fun with the lab.